this Christmas, New Year, Sankranti, Ziva Fertility offers you a 30% discount on IVF packages. To know more about this, please feel free to contact us on the numbers that you see on the screen or visit your nearest Ziva Fertility Center. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Suvachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is aspermia and how is it different from azoospermia? Azoospermia is a condition where sperms are not to be seen. When we perform a semen analysis, we get to know this and semen ejaculated but it is, does not have any sperms. So that's called as azoospermia. Aspermia is a condition where semen is not ejaculated. So the volume is zero. This condition is called as aspermia and it is not to be confused with azoospermia. There could be a lot of uh, causes I'm going to mention now and if you have any of these conditions, they are treatable as well. The first is hormonal imbalance. If there is any hormonal imbalance, production of sperms may be reduced. Not just the production of sperms in the testis but also the function of prostate and seminal vesicles which are important uh, glands contributing to the semen volume. So if hormonal imbalance such as testosterone is low, estradiol is high, when these things are uh, observed in men, the volume is also reduced. Next is infections. When there are infections such as chlamydia uh, or any bacterial or viral infection also, the volume may be zero. It may be an uh, aspermic condition. If you have undergone a spinal cord surgery or injury also, this could also lead to a condition where ejaculate may not be produced and uh, aspermia could be seen in such a patient. If there is diabetes, if it is uncontrolled, then such patients also complain of aspermia. Some medications such as antihypertensive medications also can cause aspermia that is no semen volume produced. Alcohol consumption. If alcohol consumption is very high, the volume of sperms may be reduced or may not be produced at all. Some congenital conditions also, that is some genetic problems also can cause aspermia or lack of an ejaculate. So, for example, Klinefelter syndrome or cystic fibrosis. These are genetic issues which are causing aspermia. Then we should talk about radiation and chemotherapy. If a cancer patient is going through chemo or radiation, it's very common in such patients to see aspermia also a side effect of treatment for cancer. Then there is the problem of obstruction. If there is obstruction in the transportation of sperms from the testis to the penis and outside, then the condition of aspermia is also absorbed. There are treatments to most of the problems that I have mentioned, especially hormonal imbalances can be treated. Spinal cord surgeries can also be waited out after your surgery. Once you recover, may, your problem can be uh, elevated. Uh, the medications that you take for diabetes and hypertension also, uh, the dosage can be reduced if your, your condition is under control. Uh, then uh, genetical problems also can be resolved through uh, IVF treatment. So most of the problems can be resolved, but if they cannot be resolved, then you should go for IVF. In terms of genetic issues, IVF works out very well because we can select the embryo that does not have this genetic condition and put back into the uterus for a chance of a normal healthy baby. So these are the reasons of aspermia and if you have any of the conditions that are leading to aspermia or have any psychological issues that are causing aspermia, please feel free to contact us for more counseling. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.